Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm sharing how you can make one background and create two cards and I'm featuring some brand new products from the Essentials by Ellen line that are out today and I'm going to tell you, you don't want to miss this release. There is a brand new set of stencils. These are called the Monstera stencils. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> And I'm going to start by creating my background. Now, I am using the Ulta New Stamp Wheel Light Grip Replacement Mat. This is the mat that comes inside the stamp wheel. And I'm using that to hold my paper and my stencil in place. Now, you can also do this with the Waffle Flower Grip Mats as well. So that mat is just going to hold my paper and my stencil in place while I do a little bit of inking over the top. So I am using Concord and Ninth Aqua Sky ink to just lightly blend over this. And there are some delicate portions on this stencil. So I am just going very light handed and kind of moving in the directions of the veining that goes towards the center of the leaf. So I'm just kind of moving my brush in line with it instead of trying to move against it, if that makes sense. Now I'm not gonna show you all of the inking of the stencil because I'm not doing any fancy inking. <laughs> I'm just inking over the top of it with a light hand and then I'm gonna wipe down my stencil and remove it and you can see I have this beautiful Monstera leaf background here and I am going to use that on both of my cards today, just that one background. Now I'm grabbing the Tropical Foliage Stamp Set. This is also brand new from the Essentials by Ellen Line, and I've selected several of the images from this set. And I'm going to ink them up in Juniper ink and stamp them onto some Concord and Ninth white cardstock. And once I stamp those, I'm going to just use my Pink Fresh Stamp Tool or Stamp Press Tool to just add some pressure over all of those to make sure that I'm getting a good transfer of ink. It looks like I'm putting a ton of pressure on these. <laughs> I am not, I am just going over the top of it, making sure I don't miss any areas. Now I'm grabbing my microfiber cloth. I'm just giving those a little clean before I come in with my Aqua Sky ink, and I am going to stamp all of these leaves once again. Now I am using kind of a tropical theme color palette for today's cards, but I'm going with some non-traditional colors for these leaves, and I think these leaves would also look really great stamped in nectar and grapefruit ink. Don't be afraid to take your color palettes out of the box just a little bit and try something new. Now once I have all of those images stamped, I'm going to use the coordinating dies and die cut all of those out. And you could see I had some other images on my desk for some other projects that I'm working on at the same time. Now I'm just going to start building kind of a collection or a gathering of leaves here. I'm using my Barely Art glue to adhere these leaves together and I'm just kind of building up just a circle pattern and kind of scattering the juniper and the aqua sky throughout it. This is going to kind of serve as my focal image as well as kind of a landing spot for my sentiment and that will make a little more sense here in just a bit. Now in that Monstera stencil pack, there are two stencils, and this is a look at what the other stencil creates. It's kind of like the opposite effect of the stencil that I used. And I blended that using Concord and Ninth Pink Lemonade, Nectar, and Grapefruit inks. But in the end, I decided to go with this blue and white, just simple pattern here. And we're gonna bring in some color using some cardstock strips, or some additional color, I should say. So I went ahead and trimmed down my background using one of the Essentials by Ellen Essential Rectangles. And now I'm grabbing the Let's Chill stamp set. This is a brand new set from the Essentials by Ellen line. I'm gonna grab that really simple hello. I can see myself using this over and over again. And I'm stamping that onto some white cardstock using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne pigment ink. And then I'm going to add some clear embossing powder over the top of that and heat set it. And this gives it that really glossy raised look. Then I can use the coordinating die to die cut that out. Now, I did try this Let's Chill sentiment as well, and I think it's a beautiful sentiment. I kind of did it in some ombre stamping. But in the end, I stuck with the hello, and I'm showing you all of these pieces that I've created and kind of showing you my thought process because I don't often get it right on the first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
So now I have some cardstock. These are all from Concord and Ninth. I will have them listed and linked in the YouTube description below. And I'm just cutting some strips of those and I am going to line these up over the background that I've created to add a splash of those tropical kind of peaches and oranges to really make this feel almost like a sunset is happening. And once I get all of these colors kind of figured out, I sprinkled some gold in there as well. Then I am going to take some adhesive and start adhering them onto this panel that I'm creating. So I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue because I have a couple of these that are a little thinner than the others. I think most of them, the wider ones, I cut at about 3 eighths of an inch. And this one here looks like it's about, it's not, I don't think it's quite a quarter of an inch, quite honestly. <laughs> Go with your gut. Look at it and go with your gut. But the point is that not all of them are the same exact width. Now, when I'm placing that bottom strip onto my panel, I am using a misty T-square ruler to help me get that straight. And I'm just going to kind of zip through this process here because I'm just adding my adhesive and then just butting it up the next strip up against the previous strip to make sure that I'm keeping everything nice and square there. Then I'll check it again at the end, and once I know that everything is straight onto the front of this card panel, I'm gonna flip it over and trim off the excess from the back. I don't know why trimming it from the back seems to just make it better, but it does. <laughs> you could also use a trimmer to trim that down. And then I have die cut this word hello from some nectar cardstock as well. I'm trimming that down the center because I am going to create kind of a shadow for this die cut word sentiment. So once I trim it down the center, I added some liquid glue onto the back of my stamp sentiment, and I'm kind of offsetting the top and the bottom pieces that I've cut apart on the, the back of the stamp sentiment, and it's just kind of creating a little halo around that. And then I can flip it over and add three layers of plain white cardstock to give this some dimension. I could use foam tape for this, but there's just something about the stacked up layers that just makes the piece feel so substantial on your card, and that's kind of what I was going for here. Now I can take this and add it onto my layered grouping of tropical foliage here. I'm just adding that onto the top. And this entire piece here that I've created, I'm going to add that onto my card panel. And I like to use my tweezers because it helps me get my fingers out of the way and really helps me to visualize where I'm placing my elements. Now I am taking my fingers and just kind of curling up some of the edges of this foliage very carefully. I don't want to crack my cardstock, but I do want to give it a little bit of life. So I'm just kind of curling some edges. And then I will take this entire panel add it to a top folding A2 size white card base using some foam adhesive and finish that off using some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. I'm adding those on with my Barely Art glue and my dual tip embellishment tool from Pink Fresh Studio. And that finishes off card number one. But guess what? I still have some of that beautiful background left over that I can use on a whole nother card. So this time, instead of using it all over the background like we did on that panel, I'm going to use that strip of it along the side of my card front. So I'm taking the Let's Chill stamp set again, and I'm stamping the Hello and Sunshine sentiments onto some Concord and Ninth Nectar cardstock using some Versamark ink, and then I'm coating those in some white embossing powder. Now, when you look at this, you're gonna see me using some clear embossing powder on that sunshine word. I thought I might make them dual tone, but I didn't end up liking that in the end. So I die cut these out, and like I said, it wasn't quite it. I don't always get it right. <laughs> so I went ahead and stamped them again, both using white embossing powder this time, and I heat set that, and that was the ticket for me. I love these white heat embossed images on colored cardstock. I forget to do this sometimes, but it's really just such a beautiful look. And once I have the new sentiments ready to go, I can line up the dies around the edges of those, run them through my die cut machine, and then I have my images or my sentiments ready to go. 
Now I did decide to add some dimension and some kind of weight to these also by adding a couple layers of plain white die cuts behind them. I just, like I mentioned earlier, I think this is a really cool look and it's gonna give them a little bit of beef to kind of hold their own on this card. Now this really doesn't take that long and it makes a difference to me. If you'd rather use foam adhesive, you can totally do that. In fact, I'm gonna link a video in the upper corner right now about the foam adhesive that I've been using and it's a DIY foam adhesive that I make myself. So I'll put that link in the upper right hand corner right now. But for now, I'm gonna take the Flamingo from the Flockstar stamp set, also new from the Essentials by Ellen Line, and I'm going to stamp him in some Versamark ink onto some Nectar cardstock. Once again, I'm gonna use some Wow Super Fine Opaque Bright White Embossing Powder. This white embossing powder, I think it's my favorite. You know how you're like embossing powder is embossing powder? I don't know. There's just something about this wow embossing powder that just does it for me. So I've heat set that and then I've used the coordinating die to die cut out my little flamingo. And now I'm going to add just a strip of some grapefruit cardstock along the edge of this piece that I have that's left over from my original background. I don't think that I mentioned that my original background measured five and a half inches by five and a half inches. So I'm getting two backgrounds out of this square piece that I created. I also added a strip of matte gold cardstock from Concord and Ninth there. And then I'm going to arrange all of these onto my card base. So a very simple layout, but a great way to use up something that I already had on my desk and kind of create more or stretch a little bit more out of my crafting time. So I've added that strip onto my top folding A2 size card using some tape runner adhesive. And then I'm gonna add this sunshine and the flamingo onto my card panel using some foam adhesive. I'm gonna add that hello. I believe I added some foam adhesive even with the layers behind it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna finish off my card with some sparkling clear sequins. What can I say? I like a little sparkle. I like a little dimension. It's who I am. I just can't make a card without a couple of those things. So <laughs> I hope you're okay with it. And I'm sure you are because you've stuck around this long. Now let me tell you what I love most about this card. I didn't have to do any coloring. Now sometimes I like to color, but sometimes I don't. And on that card, I'm packing in all the color on that flamingo without having to pull out my markers. So that's a plus, today anyway. <laughs> now as always, I will have links to the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. I also wanted to mention that today over on Instagram, there is a hop celebrating this brand new release from the Essentials by Ellen Line. So be sure to head over there for lots of eye candy and some prizes. There's gonna be tons of inspiration and you don't wanna miss it. And I will have a link to my Instagram page below so that you can find that easily. As always, I wanna say thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I am so glad you're here. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed these projects, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. You are the best. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.